The phloem system transports sugars from places where they are produced, called sources, to places where they are consumed or stored, called sinks. In contrast to the xylem system, which only transports fluid upward from roots to crown, phloem can transport sugars in any direction. The pressure flow hypothesis explains how plants use osmosis to drive this transport system. A source is any tissue that is contributing sugars to the phloem system, including leaves or specialized food storage cells. At the source, sugars are actively transported into the phloem sieve tubes. This raises the solute concentration of the sap in a process called phloem loading. The walls of the sieve cells act as a semi-permeable barrier. Water can enter, but sugar can't exit. Osmosis draws water from areas of lower solute concentration, such as the xylem, into the highly concentrated sap, raising pressure in the tube that drives the sap. A sink is any tissue that removes sugars from the phloem system, including actively growing regions like root or shoot tips or storage cells. At the sink, sugar is transported out of the sap, a process called phloem unloading. This reduces the solute concentration of the sap, which allows water to diffuse osmotically back out of the sieve tubes. As the water exits, the pressure in the tube drops. The pressure difference between source and sink pumps the sap through the sieve tubes. The pressurized transport of sugars can reach all 